Hello everyone, welcome to another After Effects Easy Tutorial. In this tutorial, we shall learn how to create a countdown timer in After Effects. This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Improve your skills or learn new skills and explore your creativity with Skillshare. As of the recording of this video, Skillshare is offering a one month free on all courses. Don't miss out on this offer. Use the first link in the description below to redeem the one month free offer. Open After Effects, and as usual, let's create a new composition, and let's call it Timer. Set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 and the duration to 3 minutes. You are free to choose your preferred setting. Head over to File, then to Project Setting. In the pop-up window go to Expressions and change the Expressions engine from JavaScript to Legacy Expand Script. Using the Type tool, type any number. In my case, I will use 0. Note that the number you choose does not affect the timer in any way. Align the number to the center of the composition. Head over to Effects and Presets and find the slider control effect and apply it to the text layer. Expand the source text as well as the slider effect. While holding Alt on the keyboard, click on the source text stopwatch icon to open the expression editor. Copy and paste this expression into the expression editor. You can get these expressions using a link in the description. Head over to the slider effect. While holding Alt on the keyboard, click on the slider effect stopwatch icon to open the expression editor. And copy and paste this expression into the expression editor. As you can see, the timer is 30 minutes long but we want a 3 minutes timer. To do so we shall calculate how many seconds are there in 3 minutes, which is 180 seconds. Input this value in the expression. That's how you create a countdown timer in After Effects. That's all for today. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. In the meantime, stay safe. See you in the next one.